What's up, YouTube? It is yours truly, Sham Garcinat of Big Boss Sham Fitness. And we're about to get after it today, working on some heavy duty back training. So being that I'm doing my first powerlifting competition in what, December 14th? So uh, I'm what, say 14 weeks out. Now we're doing a power building program where we have focused around those three lifts. Your bench press, your squat, and your deadlift. So as I'm doing that, I'm making sure the rest of my program is predicated around bodybuilding. So it's called power building. So today, we're working your deadlift, and it's going to be kicking my butt. But um, stay tuned. Let's do it. What's going on, YouTube? You already know we're back at it. Big Boss Sham Fitness taking you through my power building program when it comes to building my deadlift for my competition December 14th. So this is me just warming up with about 135 on the bar. We're doing tons and tons of sets. But uh, yeah, so we go from 135, now we're going to 225. The, the concept with these warm-up sets is to reinforce technique, sit back in the hips, break the bar in half, enter abdominal pressure, and drive. But I'm also working on power. Power, power, power. Every single rep should look the same, driving i want speed out of that hole baby I'm not playing any games man so now we're moving on to 315 pounds the interesting thing is the whole entire time i'm doing this for the first few sets i'm trying to hook grip it's a little difficult to put into my program because i'm not used to it but i know in the long run it's going to put pay dividends but that thing is killing me but you know what man you gotta do what you gotta do but as I get to about 405 is when I go right back to mixed grip. So now I'm in the 405 section. And uh, yeah, we're about to crush it. We're about to crush it, baby. I'm not playing any games out here. <gasps> Same concept. Strong job. Beautiful. And it felt super light. As you can see, getting towards about 446. We're warmed up. Five sets of one. And, um, yeah, this is when the work happens, baby. I'm excited because the beginning portion of this program, I'm like, this way is so right. Now we're starting to get on. Let's get after it. So now we're getting into the actual working sense with 85% of my max. So we're going to go five sets, 445 pounds. Here, like I said, this is why we warm up, baby. Same form. Sit back in your hips, inner abdominal pressure. I do this thing where <laughs> I do about three of these before I drive. It felt super light. This program is amazing. And I'm super excited to see what the numbers are going to look like in a few more weeks. So this is set number two. Same concept. You want every rep to look the same. Money. Now we're moving on to set number three. I, the interesting thing is I never used to deadlift with a belt. I always felt as if there's no necessity to, but let's be honest, guys. We gotta be safe over here. Can't be Hercules every single time. Gotta use your brain. Same concept, break the bar in half, retract. Nice. Good. We're getting money. All right, now we're on set number four. As you can see, I'm controlling the weight throughout every single set. Same thing, I'm approaching the bar with the same exact tenacity. Rip the bar off the ground, but make sure my technique is right. So, people don't understand, deadlifts are probably one of the best exercises as long as you're doing it and performing it correctly. Right. Boom. So, Money. Fifth set, last, last set. Remember guys, this is the final set. And notice how my approach is the same exact thing. So when it comes show day, nothing is new. I've been there before. All right, here we go, let's rock. Big money. Come on, man. Let's go now. Yeah, buddy. All right, now we're moving on to weighted pull-ups. So now for the rest of the portion, it's more of a bodybuilding standpoint. So I attach a 45. And I'm looking for three sets of 10. 
it's interesting. Normally, I can knock out 10 reps, but I don't know. Today, my grip was just failing me, but I'm okay with it because I'm trying to get full range of motion. So all the way up, chin over the bar. Regardless, I make sure I get those 10 in that set. And um, with every single set, I switch hands. So now, as you can see, ooh, excuse me, I'm going more of a neutral grip. So the wider grip hits the outside portion of the lats. Neutral grip gets more deeper into the lats. And I'm always trying to build the lower lat from an aesthetic standpoint. So um, this neutral grip is pretty awesome. I like the variation that they have at this gym. Nice, making sure I finish my 10. So straight from here, I'm gonna go inside from a supinated grip or an underhand grip. The biceps get a little plug, but I really feel it in my lower lats. Yeah, this it takes time. I wasn't able to do pull-ups when I was younger. Took years and years and years for me to get after it. Now I'm able to do two plates, 245s. But remember, guys, this is a journey. You got to work. You got to grind to get to where you want to be. And I'm, I'm not done yet. God got so many more plans for me. Let's go now. Shoot, I'm getting hyped talking about this damn video. <laughs> Uh, yeah, perfect. So now, directly from this, I move on to bent over rows. Guys, this is a bread and butter for building a deadlift because your back has to remain in an isometric contraction while you're balancing weight and pulling with your laps, your rhomboids, Terry's major, minor, traps, all that good stuff. So I go three sets of 10. I'm starting out with 135. Then, of course, I throw that belt on and some straps because your, your, your grip will start to give. Then I move on to 225. Ronnie Coleman used to do five plates, so I got a long way to go. <laughs> but there's so many different variations to do rows. There's pen lay rows. There's rows where you're more parallel to the ground. But I just like this because I feel it in my lower lats better. So now I'm moving on to 275 for 10 reps. I could work my way all the way up to 315, 365, but I just wanted to keep it loading that I have 85% deadlifts. Got to be a little smart here. So once I'm done with this, I go on into the vertical pull. So now I get into some wide lat grip, lat pull downs. Same concept, three sets of 10. I start off with something pretty light, about 120 pounds, focusing on full range of motion, squeezing all the way down. Now I'm moving on to about 165 pounds. This is the second set. So if you notice, I'm pyramiding up, pyramid up. Even though the rep stays the same, the weight goes up. Nice, you can see me contracting. Oh, my back is looking halfway decent. I'm looking like I work out. Let's go now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, now we're gonna move on to the final set. And this one I had like about like 210 pounds. I'm trying to keep my form the same. I actually move in deeper so the anchor could lock me down and try to stay as vertical as possible. But that's 210 pounds, so you're gonna have a little body injury. But I'm pulling with my elbows so my back does all the work. That's how you do it, Sham. Get after it. Now, one of my favorite exercises is T-bar rolls. Sometimes I use quarters because it allows full range of motion. But at times, I want to go heavy. I use plates and just pack those bad boys in. So same concept, three sets of 10. I started off with actually two plates. That was my second set. This is my third. Four plates, full stretch. This, I feel deep in my lower lats. And like I said, I'm trying to develop those. And that's really going to help boost your deadlift as well. So three sets of 10, nice and explosive, but controlled at the same time. So now I move to an underhand pull down grip. Now, the, the wide grip was working on the outer lats. Now I'm working on the lower, the lower lats and also the lat sweep by using this. So same concept, three sets of 10, starting off with about 120 pounds. Then directly from there, I'm gonna go to 165. And then from there, I'm gonna go to what? 210 pounds? We ain't playing no games out here. Shoot, you came over here to work. You came over here to train. This is what life is about. It's about getting better. It's about doing what you need to do. It's about time management. So when I get my little bit of time to train, you know I'm on point. I'm not trying to waste any time. And by the way, my rest periods are maybe a minute to a minute and a half, maybe. But these exercises, these, these, uh, the, the deadlift requires a little bit more, but when it comes to everything else, I'm a minute, a minute to a half, that's it. 
But yeah, we're working over here. I believe this is the 210 pounds that I was checking to see if I was still recording. Remember, guys, you gotta do what you gotta do, baby. So now we move into a little bit of biceps. So mostly every time after back, I train biceps because they're a weak point and I wanna bring them up. So I don't train them too, too hard, being that my biceps are already stimulated by the heavy back. And I also have a separate day that I train arms, but I make sure I hit at least three exercises. So today is preacher curls, controlling down and controlling up, really having a focus on my biceps. Three sets, 10 reps. Now from here, this is actually one of my favorite exercises where I attach a handle to the pulley and I get into a front double bicep position. And it really works on the peak of the biceps. Plus it looks kind of badass. So three sets, 10 reps, squeezing directly at the top. I love cables because they provide the same tension from a concentric to an eccentric. So what that means is when you curl, you feel the same tension as when you let it go and allowing it to go back to the tower. So three sets of 10. Then I end off with rope curls where I'm always working on that brachialis, brachioradialis, which adds, provides a pump directly under the bicep. It was a hell of a workout. Oh boy, like my whole body is crazy jacked right now. I was hoping somebody asked if I took steroids so I could laugh. <laughs> but afterwards, I get a little posing so you guys can see like my back is like super active, trying to work on that pose. All those deadlifts are the reason why that middle back, those traps look the way they do. Just got to keep getting better. Nice back double bicep C's, baby, please. <laughs> but anyway, guys, appreciate you guys for watching. Subscribe. I got so much content coming on the way. I'm not playing any games, guys. Fitness is everything. Fitness is life. Get out.